Welcome back everybody, I'm John and this is John Does Reacts. I'm gonna watch the 40th episode of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood today. Uh, dwar the Dwarf in the Flask. These episode names always just confuse the heck out of me. Last episode we had a whole bunch of nothing happened. No, I'm just kidding. There's a lot that happened. Then we we got the little escape from Kimblay, which I'm worried whether we actually escape from him because he's way too good at figuring that stuff out. Ed had that scare, or not Ed, Al, which I always do. Al had that little scare where his his soul looked like it was getting tugged by his body. So it seems like we might have a little time limit there. And we're trying to get back to Briggs Station. So we're gonna jump right in. You guys remember this is not a Marcus Up suit? Go watch it. Go watch it there, then here. Okay. Uh, and check out that anime list. Always look for them recommendations. The only thing we have to worry about is holding down this fort. As for the general, well, I'm sure the Tigers in Central will make sure she's taken care of. Ooh, we should take over East. The people from East Station should take over the North Station. General Armstrong, how nice to see you. What brings you here today, General? Fuhrer Bradley summoned me. For an extended stay, I imagine. Is that so? No. Well, sometime we should grab some dinner. Your treat? I hope you know I could eat you into bankruptcy. Uh, maybe we should skip dinner then. Sure I wonder if it, maybe it's like an Armstrong thing. They can just put, it down, put down food. You may enter. Sir. Mm. We need to talk about General Raven's recent disappearance. Just what have you done? I won't be able to hide it all. Pardon me, Your Excellency, but I simply don't understand how you can employ someone as careless and incompetent as General Raven. Is that the reason you saw fit to dispose of him? It can't be good to have someone so talkative on your senior staff. You have me intrigued, General. What did Raven say? Immortality. The history of this country. Oh, man. Your Excellency's identity. He told me all sorts This girl's ballsy. I assume you'll be needing someone to fill that fool's vacant seat. <laughs> I like the way you play. Very well. You can have General Raven's seat. My men will take over Fort Briggs. Agreed? Of course. As you wish. I appreciate the sacrifice, General. That was a huge difference in what they said. Struggle well, human. Although our leader might be gone, we still stand as one. We act with one will. That's the Fort Briggs way. <clears throat> From here on, the bears will fight the tigers. Ooh. The stakes just getting higher and higher. Is this spot taken? No. So how is work treating you? I have to work through every meal or I can't keep up. And how about you? I've been staying busy too, especially with everything My I've face. had to learn. Fuhrer Bradley works very efficiently though, so that helps. He isn't a slacker, that's for sure. Uh, sounds like this is going to be a dull conversation. Well, apparently... Yeah, I'd be terrified to talk if something told me it was watching from the shadows. Buccaneer. Okay. And York. But uni once more. And then Sterling. Selene Bradley is a homunculus. I'd say impossible. Damn good code. There's no such thing. What in the world is about to happen here in Central? Burn the whole place down. Well, that'd kill everyone. Hey, you there. Do we have a young Hohenheim or a Over young here. father? Um, yeah. What's your name? I'm number 23. Not your number. I want you to tell me your real name. I'm a slave. I don't have one. Huh. What is going on? You're not all that bright, are you? Hey, get out of here! No, I'm not. 
Tell me. You are the one who gave me blood, right? He said he was going to use it for an Okay, that's Hohenheim, and I'm I guessing the ball talking flask blood. is Thank you. The father. I think I'll give you a name of your own. You'll want a noble sounding one, right? Well, how about Von? Von Hohenheim. How does that sound? I think I can remember he that. He didn't even have a name. Spelled, oh, you don't know how to read and write, do you? I don't need to read and write to do my work. Your slave work. <sighs> Let me teach you, Von Hohenheim. Hey. Okay. So if what are you? Hohenheim didn't what are you? make him. What do I call you? Who did? I'll tell you what, Von Hohenheim. You can call me the dwarf in the flats, homunculus. I don't know. All things are I'm kind of guessing that that would be the first homunculus, right? All things so wouldn't that be Celine? In other words, one is all. Indeed, and all is one as well. You have passed. You are now an alchemist, Hohenheim. Well done, child. I'm still only fit to be an assistant. My skill is nothing near yours, master. I'm grateful to yes, you. Thanks to you. Maybe someday I'll even be able to get married and have a family. A family, huh? How inconvenient for you humans. Unless you form communities. Oh, that's what he always wanted. Continue to exist. Don't call it breeding. And whether or not it's a concept that you're able to understand, that's where humans find happiness. We live for the bonds that we form with friends and family members. That's who we humans are. Sure. Man, what do you say? Okay. for him to change so much, he uh, can only imagine. Immortality. Tell me, is it possible or is it? it? Growing impatient in your old age. Oh yeah, yeah. I was just gonna say this must be Xerxes. They beat me to it. Okay, I'll tell you how you can achieve immortality. Kill everyone. What are you digging here for? Irrigation canals. The kings ordered them to be dug all throughout the country. <laughs> That's the king for you. He even cares about the well-being of us commoners. Yes, he does. This little shit is responsible for Majesty, everything. At long last, your transmutation circle is complete. Hmm. Took long enough. Incredible. King will achieve immortality. That took a while, I guess. Yes, this is an amazing moment indeed. <laughs> I don't understand it. Said if we were in the center of the circle, we wouldn't be out. <laughs> huh? What the? What's going on here? Hey, homunculus! The true center of the transmutation circle is right here where you're standing. It is? Surely you remember that your blood is within me. I used it to open the doorway. Blood brother of mine. Von Hohenheim. Right now, you and I are at the center of everything. So, did he not know what was going to happen? whole country was tricked by a homunculus thing. Uh... He got... disapparated. Majesty! Master, are you... 
This episode hurts my brain. Is anyone out there? Imagine waking up to Tony Mayo. being the only one alive. I guess the plot to pretty much any apocalypse movie. It's no use. All of their souls have been. And now he's got the body. It's me. Impossible. Using your blood, I created a receptacle for myself. Nice. Finally, I can walk on my own two legs. Are you the homunculus in the flask? What's going on here? What is this? What have you done? So father's Thank the homunculus too. I've given you a name. And I've given you but he's stronger than now, the other homunculus. I've given you a body that will live forever. Focus your attention within yourself, Hohenheim. <laughs> you hear them, don't you? The voices of all the people in this country who were offered in exchange for your immortality. Well, half of their lives were for me, actually. He didn't ex I appreciate he didn't want that. <laughs> Come on, dude, use your immortality to help fight. I knew it. <sighs> eh? Finally. I get the chance to meet Ed and Al's father. And I finally get to meet the one who taught my sons. I'm sure they must have been a handful. What is it? Izumi, are you alright? May I have a look at her? I know a bit He must be on the run all the time. Maybe. Maybe not. I'm alright. This happens. No, you are not alright. Mr. Sig, find us a car, quickly. Hurry! Right. The morning. I mean, she's never all right. So it's puking blood. Mrs. Zumi, you have seen the truth. What did you sacrifice? Organs. Let's be honest. My insides were taken. I was trying to bring my child back to life. I see. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, Hohenheim, what the fuck? Um... Izumi! No... Down, dear, please. I'm all right. He shoved his hand into you! But my breathing... It's easier. How can that be? I'm so confused. There's no wound. Your organs were taken away as a testament to your sin not be brought back but I did rearrange your entrails somewhat to improve the flow of blood Suzumi you cannot give in to your fate just yet who are you who am I I am a philosopher's stone in the form of a man that's what I am okay I got this really crazy music after that nonsense. I don't know if I'm okay with that. <laughs> okay, there's an after credit scene. Hold on. Oh my god, there's so much stuff going through my head. So, what an emotional roller coaster with Hohenheim. Holy shit. You think he's bad? You think he's good? You think he's really good? You think he's just down on his luck and then did some bad stuff and, I mean, horrible stuff? And. Uh, <laughs> Entire body is a freaking philosopher's stone, and and this is bringing other thoughts into my head that if he was able to have children with whoever I can't remember the mom's name, but it makes a lot of sense that there's that Ed and Al are so good at alchemy. I mean, it might have nothing to do with it, and I might be completely off base here, but. They gotta be special, right? I mean, their dad's a philosopher's stone. <sighs> the 
implications. This is crazy. This is crazy. Um, holy crap. Well, obviously, this is one of those shows that I'm going to get emotional over because I love it so much. Uh, and the, there's a couple of these shows. And if they're, if a show that I don't enjoy as much, I'm obviously not going to react as much. I get complaints uh, from people I know saying that, oh, why'd you start doing this? You barely react. Well, I mean, I do. I just have to... I, I'm not going to just... I don't overreact. That's that's dumb. I I won't, I'm gonna. It's gonna be if it's me reacting. It's that's what I think about the moment. That's you're never gonna see that kind of stuff here. I'm never gonna do the overreacting stuff. That's not me. Um, but when they I do really care about them, you're gonna see me go crazy. Like every time I watch My Hero Academia, I pretty much cry all the time, or or I'm just grinning ear to ear because I can't help it. Oh, that was good, though. I want to let you guys know again, just like in the last episode, if anybody's even watches this long, probably most of you don't. I get it. It's a long video. I'm a nobody on YouTube. But there's two, these two other shows I mentioned the other episode that I really want to watch. Um, I'm wondering, and I'm, I'm going to watch them. I just want to know if anybody would care if I, or would want me to record them. Uh, it might be too difficult to do. Who knows? Uh, what is it wrong? Is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? The third season's out, and I really want to watch that. There's only like seven episodes out so far, but uh, and Jujutsu Kaisen looks interesting. It's like a shonen ninja looking thing, which will be na nice and new for me because I never watched Naruto because, well, I just never did. It was one of those shows that I remember airing on TV in when I was younger and I'd hear believe it, believe it and people ranting and raving about it and people running around going ooh, 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 with their arms behind their back but I never watched it. <sighs> but yeah, if anybody wants to watch or would be interested in that, let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one.